Air to ground command and the aircraft over the Dixie Fire West Zone, launching a UAS in Division Foxtrot, 6000 and below. The sun has just set over the Dixie Fire, and CAL FIRE's unmanned aerial system is about to be launched. The UAS program is new to CAL FIRE, it's just developing, uh, it's in its infancy stage. Controller on battery charged. Controller on battery charged. Payload configured and attached. Using an infrared camera, this UAS will transmit valuable real-time intelligence back to the launch site. Tonight we're out doing a couple recon missions for Division Foxtrot. Tablet on, battery charged. Aircraft in place, powered on. Taking off. Taking off. Flying at around 1,000 feet. Takeoff time 2101. Within minutes. 2020. It can cover a mile of Division F control line, spotting embers outside the fire's perimeter. But we're just checking the green side of the control line to make sure there's no spot fires or anything's come across the line and the embers with the winds today. And so there's a hot spot there at 330 degrees, but it's on the, the right side of the line. That's the, the fire's edge. The U.S. Forest Service already uses UAS with the ability to drop incendiary devices, conducting firing operations from the air and at night, when conditions are usually more favorable. On the Dixie Fire, CAL FIRE and the Forest Service are in unified command, so CAL FIRE was able to use UAS to perform aerial firing operations on the fire's west zone. So that's the dozer line there. There are many benefits to the UAS program, like reducing risk to ground crews, efficiency. If we do find some heat over the line, we can go ahead and make some notifications and then we give them a lap on. Speed and rescue, a critical function, especially at night. It's another tool in CAL FIRE's expanding toolkit. And maybe give them a little bit of extra help so that doesn't allow that little ember to get any bigger. As the UAS patrols the Dixie Fire control line. Right now everything looks really good. Uh, the crews have done a great job today. Crews still patrol from the ground. You can see there's a couple of vehicles there that are patrolling the uh, the dozer line there on the left hand side of that box. This new program will lead to better intelligence earlier and when dealing with California's growing wildfire season earlier is always better. Landing and tablet off. UAS are flown only after being cleared by the incident commander. If you fly, we can't fly. 